Good morning everyone. I'm just like lying on the bed right now because I feel so exhausted. I think I went too hard at the gym and now my body is just like I got back from the gym like <clears throat> maybe 40 minutes ago. I just set up today's video and put it live. It was a um not February, it's not February. April? April favourites I think. Um yeah, I went to the gym, got up quite early at like 7 30 and I'm so tired. But today should be good. I've got um I've got to go to the doctor after I have a shower, um, well, in like half an hour, I'll open up some mail first, I got some mail, and then, yeah, after that, dot day, and then I think I'll just go out for a quick lunch with my mum, and eat, because I'm not going to eat this morning, I feel really, like, ill, I'm not quite sure why. I'm excited to go to the doctor and try to figure out what to do next, because I got that last blood test, as you know, I don't know what the results were like, I don't know what any of it means, so that's why I'm going to the doctor today, and then to figure out what we have to do next, to try and figure out and pinpoint exactly what's wrong with me other than high cortisol slash if it's just high cortisol or what, I don't know, it's so confusing. I'm sorting it out. And then this afternoon I'm just going to edit some more, um, hopefully get up a vlog. I didn't get up a vlog on the weekend, I've just been kind of taking the weekends off a little bit, like I've still been videoing little bits and pieces of my day, but I just haven't been uploading because it's just getting to be too much, you know? And I think I'm going to cut back on my vlogs, like you guys have noticed lately that I've been, you know, only uploading maybe three or four times a week on my vlog channel. And it's just because I'm really just trying to take a step back and just work on myself and my stress levels and just try to take it a little bit easier, especially right now when I'm trying to prepare to go to Vegas. Like, it's already quite stressful just trying to get all my beauty videos sorted for while I'm gone and I don't want to, like, overdo it, you know? So I've just been careful every day, like, making sure I do, like, some really light exercise, some walking, getting fresh air, which really does me so much good, and then just literally just trying to relax and trying not to be on social media and computers and devices all the time like just having some relaxing time and that's what's been happening i'm sorry if you guys are upset that i've been uploading less but i've just got to put my health first at this point like i've been pushing myself really hard for too long and it's not doing me any good so you know i've just got to find that balance of like work and health and stuff i'll work it out i will work it out eventually but yeah, I'm gonna go have a shower now and get ready for the doctor appointment. I got heaps and heaps of mail, so I'll show you inside some. Some is pure box mail and some is just like normal mail, so yeah. Sorry if I sound really like quiet, I'm just so tired. What's my hair doing as well? Ugh, it's so flat. I get my hair done later this week before I go to Vegas. It hasn't grown too much. Um, but I just thought I'd get it, you know, toned and everything before I go overseas, just so it looks really nice. Someone's curious. So the first box is from MAC. So they sent me some of this Brick Candy um, collection, which I've never heard of. In New Zealand it is out on the 5th of May. Here's some of the pricing if you want to pause the screen and have a little read. Um, can we just say how cool this packaging is? But who does this remind you of? Reminds me a bit of Kat Von D packaging, <laughs> but this packaging is super cool. I really, really like it. It's got like splatters on and then it's silver. So there's this lipstick here. Hold on, I'll refocus my camera. This lipstick here is called Doo-Wop. Doo-Wop? Doo-Wop? This is Whirl, which got dinged, which is sad. But yeah, that's called Whirl. So that's how they look together. And then, if it wants to focus, this is called Pamela. This is Pamela, and it is a Vamplify, I guess, liquid lipstick. It's a really nice, deep, matte nude color. Well, I think it's matte anyway. Um, and then this, Studio Eye Gloss in White. And it's just like a white, sticky, um, like, glossy, pigmenty thingy. I've got a few of them. I don't really use them that often, because they do crease very easily. But sometimes if I'm going for like a super grungy kind of eye look, I'll like pat some over. And it kind of creases the eyeshadow, but it kind of looks cool, if that makes sense. But yeah, definitely not like an everyday product for me. But I really love that packaging. It's super cool. This is a brand new pillowcase by Sleep Clean, which I still use these all the time. Um, it looks really nice. It's got like silver woven into it or something. Sylvon, something like that. But I just got a little note. Um, saying thank you for the support and everything. But yeah, I think it's such a cool idea and I really like my pillowcases so I'm excited to try this one too. It's like a new one. And then I got this really big gift box. So let's see what's in here. There is a balloon. I don't know if this is supposed to float or not. I don't think so. Um, no. Your nails are too sharp. Go away. I need to take him for a walk on the concrete. We trimmed his nails yesterday and they're like real sharp. Um, 
Manuka adopted tonight is looking golden with our brand ambassador, Courtney. Oh yeah, that's right, Courtney Kardashian's their new brand ambassador, which is super cool. Look how good she looks. She is such a babe. Um, they sent me some cute slippers and like a little gold nail polish. No, hop down please. Here is a gold dust firming serum. Interesting, I haven't tried this before. Oh, and a candle. So the packaging on this one's a little bit different. It's gold packaged. And then this is what the serum looks like. I'm so excited to try it. So there's heaps of stuff in my pair of box. I haven't checked it. Oh wait, no. This stuff was like from a couple weeks ago, but I just haven't opened it yet. And then all of the rest of it was in here today. So I'm gonna go open a few bits. I'll show you some of the highlights if you would like. I haven't really shown much um, mail from you guys lately, just cause I know some people didn't like it. Obviously to me, everything is super cool, but you know, some of you guys, like, you know what I mean? It's personal, so I don't want to show everything. Uh, and sometimes I get all these like really random like letters that are meant for other people. They obviously had my pair box before me. I have to like take it back and ugh. <laughs> That's some stuff from this brand. How do you pronounce this? I've actually seen them on Facebook. Listage? I don't know. How do I open? Oh, jokes. Wait, no, yes. There, okay. I figured it out, you guys. Oh, cute, look. So these are liquid lipsticks. They're really pretty. I like the colors, especially that one's really pretty too. Awesome. Thank you to the team that sent those to me. This package is from Madeline Walker, the Twenties Club. <laughs> Cute. Support your local girl gang. I haven't heard of this brand before. The Twenties Club. Nz. Someone sent me some really cute jewelry. Look how cute this is. It's like a marble stone. Look at the cute little typeface as well, like stamps or something. Or did someone actually write that? I don't know, but it looks really cool. Feather.nz. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much, Georgie. She sent me a little pack of pampering treats from Dorset in the UK. I made hair accessories. That's really cute. So, that's her website there. Oh no, some lash. Fresh handmade. What is this? Ickle Baby Bot Bath Ballistic. I haven't tried a bath ballistic. What do you do with it? Release into water and let him do his sleep inducing. Oh, nice. I should try that. I really like lavender lately. I never used to be a big fan of it, but lately I've just been like with the Jura Cosmetic Spray and stuff. I don't know. I've been really liking them. There is some um, Sting Cream, Natural Moisturizer, a raw um, muesli while you're applying your makeup or face mask, skincare. That's super cute. Look at it. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. That's so special. <laughs> and this one, look. So cute, thank you. And I got a bunch of letters, so I'll just show you, like this one says Merry Christmas, I have no idea how long that took to get to me. <laughs> That's from Colorado, thank you, Tatiana. And then look how cool this is. And then look at this dog, I die, cutest pup ever. This picture. So I'm gonna read these more in detail. I've only read like a few words, but I'm gonna read them more in detail after I've finished my editing this afternoon. I've only done a vlog so far since I've been home and it's just hit three o'clock. So I need to do a beauty video and then I think I'm gonna read some more this afternoon just to wind down and relax. And I don't know, I just like to actually take them in rather than just rush like right now kind of thing. You can't tell me that's one of the cutest things you've ever seen. Oh, so cute. There's another one of you someone invited me to their wedding. I just read that before. I was like, that is so sweet. She said, she's like, I totally understand that you probably can't come, you're so busy, but I just thought I'd send you an invite for fun. And thank you so much, that's so nice of you. I hope you have the best wedding day ever and congratulations. So yeah, thank you to all of you who sent me some letters. Got some stuff from Nutramedics. This is who sent it to me, so thank you. Let's have a look, I've never tried this brand before. So it's like this gold makeup bag, super glittery. So there's lots and lots of random goodies in here, like matte lip cream and some concealer corrector and some more lots of bits and pieces i've never really like as i said never tried this brand um i haven't really heard that much about it either so if you guys have ever tried it let me know what you think there is a nude eyeshadow palette a blushing face i want to look at this this looks like pretty packaging that's funny it looks just like the nars one um i forget which one it is the peachy nars one and then the last thing here is from skin food Dear Shannon, just wanted to send some of our favourite skin food goodies your way. We hope you love them as much as we do. We're all big fans here in the office. Enjoy the products. Thank you. <gasps> is this what I think it is? This is my favourite body butter. I showed you on my vlog one time. It smells like this is the best smelling body butter I've ever used in my entire life. It kicks every other body butter, like all the body shot ones and everything, out of the water. It smells like deliciousness, like mango and like honey. And oh my god, it's so good. And they sent me Renew Co Coconut Oil. Coconut oil, is it? I guess. Um, 
hand cream, body bar, some face wipes, some cleanser, mud mask. I love that. I've got that. Um, exfoliating scrub and a tanning moisturizer. Wow. Thank you. Louis Harris Kennard. <laughs> I don't know what your last name is. These, this, this is my slipper. Why do you have my slipper? <laughs> Asshole. Yay, success. I ended up finishing another beauty video. It's 5 p.m. Good effort, Shannon. Good effort. I'll show you the tutorial. This is the tutorial. <laughs> I told Hamish about dinner and he sounded very happy. So I think I'm going to go start prepping dinner now. I'm going to do sausages with like a curry sauce, maybe some apple, um, onion mashed potatoes and I really feel like peas I haven't had them in so long like I don't really eat peas a lot because I think they're quite sugary or something I don't know but I really feel like peas so So this is vegan um, like beef stock um, powder like imitation and then I added some Italian white wine vinegar and some curry powder. I just do it all to taste and I also put in a little bit of um, smoked barbecue sauce as well and yeah that's what's cooking in there and just added some apple. Domestic goddess. It looks so good. These mashed potatoes might be the best mashed potatoes I've ever made in my life. They're so good. I just used that olive margarine stuff, olive oil, instead of like the dairy, dairy, um, oh, what's it called? Butter, whatever. And also some soy milk in my mashed potatoes because I don't really like using milk. I don't know, it makes me feel sick, so that's what I do. Oh my gosh, dinner was so good I couldn't finish it. Hamish skipped lunch, so he finished the rest of mine, so that was good. Come on, let's go. Now we're gonna lie in bed, I think, watch some Game of Thrones or something. I'm not like real into Game of Thrones, I find it so confusing. Like, there's just too many storylines for me and it's just like I liked it for ages and got over it because I just couldn't be bothered. I just kind of listen to it in the background and like follow a couple of the storylines that I actually like. <laughs> Why do you want to play right when we're about to sleep? <laughs> 